Hello guys, my name is Almost Addicted, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own apocalyptic style build. And to make maybe your city look apocalyptic, or something like that. So as you can see, let's go up in the air. I've done it in an 11 by 21 radius. And uh, if you did this in a huge city, it would look amazing. You can see how much detail is actually into here. I'll show you kind of the t tips, tricks, and techniques on how I achieve something that looks like this, like a zombie apocalypse, Last of Us, Fallout feel. So without further ado, let's do this. Make sure you slap that like button in the face, because I don't see anybody do stuff like this. So yeah, catch you later. Well, not catch you later, catch you. Let's just do this, man. It's too late. Right, okay, so I've got a box of 11 by 21. Now, it's not really a block for block tutorial this height wise it's one two three four five height and i've just done the cobblestone on the bottom and stone on the top and um, so obviously you might have a bigger city or a bigger kind of place to make your ap apocalyptic setting and um, so uh, you're not really going to do something like this but it's hopefully i'll put enough tips in here to try and make your kind of worlds a bit apocalyptic sort of style um, but I'm just working within this confinement just so it doesn't take all day. So um, where do we start? Okay, so for a project like this, right, we've got our stone on the side. What we'd start to do is remove some blocks. Now, this is a very abstract way of um, building so that you're not precise with it. Now, it can be random. Uh, take some out of here. Like for this structure here, I've just gone one, two, three, four, five gaps. And then I've put half slab underneath these bits to make that kind of dome bit. So it's one half slab there and then two there coming down. And it's just basically taking bits out. And um, you can make it as random as you possibly can. I mean, you can take big chunks out like this, maybe some from the bottom. And fill it in with kind of this instead. Little holes coming through. And then we're going to add some more to it. The, like it's kind of it develops over time, this sort of thing. So what I would do now is probably get some stairs. So I get the, um, we definitely go with the same sort of style stairs. So we'll get the stone brick and maybe some cobblestone for the bottom. I, I really enjoy doing this sort of stuff, but it's more ab abstract. So hopefully you'll kind of get a gist from this. Like, as you can see, it's really random. I'm using some cobblestone wall and just to kind of fit in these bits to fit in with the right kind of blocks. And for these bits, I would probably put like stairs in different ways and stuff like that. Maybe some stairs here, put some stairs down that way, turn them this way. Do you know like different sorts of uh, different ways? Because as soon as you start adding the vines and stuff to this and the bushes riding up, some trees around, it really does look nice. You don't want kind of full blocks in there. Like if they mash together like that, even better. So it's some in here. And you can see how doing a block for block tutorial in this style is uh, very difficult because it's just, you want it different every time. There's no right, right or wrong way of doing it at all. So uh, as you can see so far, we've got something that looks fairly okay. And uh, so now what I would do is see even taking bits out here and putting some kind of vines on the inside some vines over here that'll grow over there just completely random you can have some coming down here you can maybe as you come in so these these will grow over time so when you come in and you'll have that apocalyptic setting and um, let's see hmm like say the overhang of a building maybe like look how random this is completely random i mean you could st start getting kind of abstract and kind of like build stuff like this so it's kind of like uh, bits of building that are overhanging I would probably work from the top kind of like this like it used to be a structure but now it's kind of broken it's kind of like jiggity jaggedy I wouldn't bring it down too much like that sort of thing and then you can hang vines off that as well so it kind of give it a real good setting and um, it's good the rain's coming yes Gives it more of an apocalyptic feel. Um, let's see. As you can see, this is kind of random as hell. Um, let's 
bring some of this over. So say that this was kind of like there was a ground floor up here. And you can you can do the same thing with the ceiling as well. You can put some half slabs up there in different locations. Maybe some up here. And then you work on the vines kind of coming down. Let's get some vines down. When it grows, you'll you'll see what I mean. It'll look fantastic. Um, let's get this coming down here. Let's get some more vines coming down here as well. And then even if you wanted to, you could even have like overhangs of the cobblestone. So it's kind of like bits of structure. And definitely using iron bars and stuff like different iron bars in some places like this was the support that's kind of like holding it up. See, I don't know what this is going to come out like, but it's one of those things that you can kind of keep adding to it and it looks really, really good over time. Let's bring this down. Right, so what I would do now, I think that's okay for that bit. Let's bring a little bit more over here. We can use some like um, chiseled brick as well, whatever it's called. It's cracked brick, sorry. Use some cracked brick put it in with some of the good brick and then we can get some more kind of iron bars sticking out in different locations let's go down here so already as you can see that's pretty damn apocalyptic I kind of want one more here it's just kind of adding to it now I'm gonna get some bone meal and I'm gonna get some oak right so bone meal get this bone meal on and we're gonna get some oak as well oak trees even now let's see what this looks like it's different every time so let's let's see what it comes out like will you grow no you're not let's see why did they only grow like that big that's an oak sapling why is it not why are you not growing bigger maybe because these were in the way um there we go. There we go. That's the sort of tree that we want. Look at that. Perfect. And we can keep those saplings there. And if you would like, now this is completely random. So we're taking bits out of the floor. And we can leave some grass there because we're going to probably put some other stuff in there. Now for the floor, I would probably use even bits of wood. You can even get bits of wood that kind of like come down so I'd probably use maybe something like a, a spruce wood. So maybe there was a pathway here like uh, for people to get through, but it's kind of eroded over time. And uh, you can do the same as what you've done with the walls as well. So say that you get um, some spruce, get some spruce stairs and place them in different areas as well. Let's get it down there. Kind of like completely random see that that's okay right okay so down the side here I kind of want like a river flowing through here so we can add some water in here as well right so let's get the water bucket out and we can add a lot more when when we're using water we can use a bit of sand maybe get this flowing down the side like it's kind of cascaded in I wouldn't put it on the path like that that's a mistake Something like that. Maybe some odd bits over here as well. Like that's been flowing through. Um, for the pathway, let's let's have a little look. Like the and side looks really good. Um, the stone as well. That would go well. Um, it's kind of getting that sort of blend to go together. I would probably use some gravel. And dirt wise, I would probably use... Is it Pozzola? I don't know how you say it, Pozzola. There we go. So this is kind of like a different sort of dirt as well that we can use. So completely random. You can even take some out of here, get some of these in, replace some of these bits here, get that filled in there. Maybe some here, kind of randomizing it. Try not to make it too blocky, even though we are on Minecraft. But I think that's the trick kind of keeping it as random as possible without having too many squares like if you had a square like that it'd look a bit funny so try and put one to the side this this is kind of like the trick to it and then I would probably start to build some path in maybe take some out here get these random as well and um, get some of this in as well take that out and 
then we can start adding the blood, the gore and stuff. So you could even have this as well. So you could have like these riding up and then this was like part of the building. Maybe this was up here or something, you know, and let's see, let's get some gravel in there as well. And some here, get some down here. So take some of this out. If it looks funny, even though it is random, sometimes you can make it look a bit funny. So you've just got to keep adding bits to it. Like that is good so far. Now, this is where it starts to come together. So you've got your grass, you've got your vines, and then you've got your bushes. Let's see what else. Cobwebs. Perfect. Right, so obviously in this sort of settlement, you'd have bits of cobwebs hanging down in places, maybe some in the nooks and crannies, some in the trees as well. Like some under here. You probably get them up. Just think logically where you get cobwebs in your house. You'd have them in those places. I don't know, maybe one in the corner. I'm good. I want to try and get this tree to grow about here right i'll get the bone mill again because you want that sort of like enclosed feeling we can add some plants and life as well but come on grow biggie grow grow god damn it let's try get one here right i'll slash time slash time set zero just so we can actually see right Hopefully one of these will grow. There we go. So maybe it's a bit off. You can add some different types of bushes in. Like it's come down to the ground. Add some more bushes in like here. In random places. Maybe it'd be curling up the walls and stuff. But kind of uh, make it so it's kind of connected. Like just one bush here. It's going to look funny. So there is kind of an art to it. But it's still kind of abstract at the same time like that's overgrown that's kind of a nice apocalyptic setting and yeah, let's see we could get some bushes at the side here and this is kind of like winded up to here and then overgrown up here that's quite nice and maybe coming up the side here see i don't see many people do tutorials like this at all because it's very it's a very an abstract sort of way of doing things so we can get some grass on the grass that we have left and um, let's see okay so now i would probably let's see what other sort of plants and stuff we can use dead bushes it's just it has to be done um well, let's see Large fern, use the large fern at the side, maybe two here, get this coming on. Right, now I think we get the redstone. And we want a block that kind of looks like sort of gore, which is granite. It's got that sort of like sick look. Um, let's see. Skull, wait, zombie even. Let's get a zombie head. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. So we could get a zombie head at the side. But with the zombie head, you put it near these. Get the granite there. And like get a bit of blood connecting like this. So there's like drips up here. Maybe some little bits here. Maybe some in the bushes. Maybe a zombie tried to escape through here. You've got to paint scenarios while you're doing it. Um maybe something died around here come on slayed a zombie over here and it kind of dragged itself over here so we get some get the zombie head there the blood like it's dragged itself there I don't know why that's there right so let's have a little look okay I think that looks perfect now all it is, is just kind of adding little tiny details to it. Like you could have, um, let's see, we could even have some pistons. Um, I need some dead bush shrubs even. We need the shrub. 
Where are you, shrub? Because it doesn't seem to be going down for some reason. I can't seem to place them. There we go. We've got to put them on these Podzola ones. So we've got the dead bushes in there as well. That's got that apocalyptic feel. What else do we need? What else do we need? Or what else could we add even? Um, obviously, that. Let's see. It, maybe even hay bales, you know? Like some mushrooms. We could even have some torches. Maybe some passerbyers came through. Uh, lily pads for in the water and stuff. It's all that detail does account for something. So get a little mushrooms here. Let's get a little mushroom there just to kind of give it some colour and stuff. Oh, it's not going to go on there. But we can put them on the Botsula. There. And maybe some kind of hay at the side. Just little bits here and there. And I don't know, maybe someone came by and put a torch on the trees and stuff. And then in here we can have like the little lily pads. I don't know why they're that colour. It's weird. And there you go guys. It's very apocalyptic. It's kind of weird. And it just shows you how much you can kind of do with it. There's so, so much more that you can do. You can set up traps and stuff that are kind of firing through the walls. And if you would like to add like kind of some supports from here, I would probably bring this up here and stuff. Like, I don't know, someone had maybe a zombie hanging or something. Get kind of a fence. Get a fence coming down, like from here. Something like that, you know? So like, someone had a zombie hanging up there. Just have some weird stuff. You can even have like these coming up the side of the wall and stuff. This is oak, but I'm using a different texture pack. So it might look a little bit weird. Maybe some at the side here. Just a one post. Maybe there was a fence that actually led through here eventually. Let's see. There we go. That looks nice. Beautiful. And I think that really does pull it together. Gives it a real zombie apocalyptic feel. And if you want to add some like anvils and stuff. Like let's put some anvil in. Like some decaying anvils and some cauldrons. Cauldrons. Get some cauldrons there. Um, what else could we put in here? No, that, that should be okay. It's so like a cauldron at the side. I don't know. Maybe someone left some over here. Maybe one at the side there. An anvil. Just kind of like randomize it, you know. And there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, you asked for it. So there's your apocalyptic sort of style. Uh, make sure you get me on Twitter um, when you show me kind of like your builds and how you've added it into your own, very, your own, very own world. I can't even speak. It's quite late at night. But um, nobody usually shows you this. So I thought I'd give you guys something a little bit different. And there you go. Make sure you slap that like button, subscribe. I'm almost addicted. I'll catch you later. Peace.